Hey there, it's Dwight Blackburn over in Mississippi, Caledonia, just north of Columbus, Mississippi. And I just want to do a short video on how to convert a Tom B's truck's brakes over to the mountain car or Titan Trains brake system. So here we go. Okay, the first thing I did was try to take my measurements for the hangers to hang the brakes like like you see on the mountain car looking at it on the bottom you can see there's two bars that move back and forth to squeeze the brakes there's shoes on each end of the bars these bars come from mountain car and the shoes and what I do is I put a spring in here to hold the shoe out away from the flange. It also holds the shoe in the correct position so that it doesn't scratch or make a noise when it's going down the track. Here you see the, the hangers. And I thread the end of the shoe rod 1032 and put a self locking nut on it. You can see here there's a bar that holds the cylinder which is a clippered cylinder that squeezes the the bars together spreads the bars apart makes the force against the wheels and that gives you your stopping power up here you can see the clippered cylinder attached to the two bars so when that is squeezed together with about 30 pounds of force it locks the wheels when you release it it rolls freely locked unlocked and the uh, main problem with the Tom B's truck is that the center portion is lower than the mountain cars so that puts the bolster lower so therefore, when you compress the springs with the weight, it's going to touch the top bar if you put a bar across the top. So what I did was I made a step down. So this step down goes in like this all the way to the bottom. Gives you your clearance. So it runs, runs like this. So you have a little wheel here, I get at Lowe's, it's a shim that I get at Lowe's, it's a, just one of those nylon bushing things, looks like this, you just put a, put a 1030, a 1024 uh, button head screw through it, and that rides against there their uh, shoe bar hanger holder and as it rolls back and forth it makes it a lot freer as you can see right here okay the other thing you have to make is a you have to make a bracket here to hold the end of the, the actuator cylinder and that has to be loose so that it will pivot and there's another screw here on the end of this this is the hanger that holds the cylinder and the end of this is just a washer welded on a flat bar stock and ream the hole out big enough that it will fit the end of that cylinder. Okay, it doesn't take very many parts and it'll all be done by, if you order these shoe bar stock holders and the shoes from Mountain Car, the rest of it can be made from just flat bar stock that you can buy from Lowe's and, and a piece, just a few pieces of metal. So I hope this helps some because I've had a lot of questions about it because I have good luck with my mountain car 
brakes and I've modified them to fit the clippered cylinder with the rollers. So you can take a look at the mountain car trucks and compare them to what I just showed you and adapt it to your own system. Thank you very much.